Hello, my name is Samantha Levy and I will be talking about my portfolio and the thought process that, that went into each of my pieces in the, a portfolio that I submitted to many colleges. So the first piece that I'm going to talk about is a uh, figure drawing piece uh, that is simply titled Woman, since it was um, the only nude figure drawing piece that I was going to include of a female figure. Now this piece was created at the CSMA during one of their live figure drawing classes, which is a walking class, and you just sit down and draw the figure in front of you, and that's exactly what I did during this piece. It was completely uh, for practicing figure drawing. There was no there was no creative interpretation of the, the figure. I drew it as realistically as uh, I could, and the uh, goal of this piece was to show my ability to render anatomically accurately through the use of toned paper and charcoal. I also had a, uh, a male figure drawing piece that was very similar. This was also to practice drawing uh, real life animals. I use both charcoal and white charcoal to push uh, both ends of the value spectrum on this toned paper for this piece. This was probably the first successful charcoal drawing I ever did. I did this at, d during the summer of my junior year. And this was actually a redo of a piece before that's not shown here that was very uh, plain and blobby and not a very good rendering of my feet. But uh, I was told to do it again, and I did, and I added background elements this time as I didn't do before, like the edge of my skirt, the desk lamp uh, in the corner. I did it um, later at night, so I had more sort of extreme lighting. You could see the shadows where the light didn't, uh, where the light didn't reach quite yet, since the room was very dark around me, and it, my feet were only illuminated by the desk lamp, and also it's at a very, uh, unique angle, since I was, um, I had the paper up on the desk, you can see the desk leg in the drawing, and I'm looking down at my feet. The next, uh, picture is, was done at the same time, it's a self-portrait, a charcoal self portrait, again the darkest values using charcoal, the lightest using uh, white charcoal, and this was one of the first pieces that I really poured a lot of time and energy into. It took me seven hours to do this piece. I basically sat down for seven hours and created this piece. Um, I did it uh, through observation using a mirror, and I figured that I wanted something more interesting than just my, my plain old face, and so I uh, threw like a scarf over my hair a little bit that had an interesting pattern that I didn't render as realistically as the rest of my face because I wanted some uh, contrast between like the very highly rendered face and the less, uh, more specifically rendered uh, covering and then an even more sort of abstract background. Uh, of course, at Freestyle, I spent way more than seven hours on a project. The longest project that I did after that seven-hour piece was a 30-hour animation that ended up only being 15 seconds long for, uh, uh, sorry, that only ended up being 30 seconds long for a Freestyle. I diverged in making sort of a blue piece and a purple self-portrait. And um, both of these pieces, you'll see the second one soon enough, use sort of shape abstraction to uh, abstract my features more geometrically. This one uses primarily triangles, and you'll see in the purple one, they're more blobbly shapes. And so using the triangles here, I really wanted to like take everything that was around a similar value and just create that into a triangle. The purple piece was sort of done the same way, but instead of using silly triangles, I tried to do more like realistic planes of my face. Switching gears pretty abruptly, we are out of the realm of self-portraits and and into more personal work, I decided that I wanted to create a business card, and so I very carefully designed the, the front with clean, minimal typography and uh, geometric purples and blues. Obviously, I really like purples and blues and thought that would be a good way to represent my uh, artistic practice. And I uh, continued that motif of geometric shapes 
and overlapping uh, shapes onto the back of the business card. I wanted the design to be abstract so that when I did double-sided printing, even if the image didn't align perfectly, it would still look good on the back of the business card. And I wanted my email address to, uh, I wanted to handwrite in my email address because I have many different email addresses and email addresses change over time and so I, in the future if I have like a strictly business email I would be able to edit that in but in the meantime I can handwrite in whatever email. This next piece uses a similar uh, style as the business cards. I use um, shapes uh, with the opacity lowered overlapping to create a larger image. I uh, I wanted to represent sort of 60s style fashion illustrations in these pieces. This was also something I made at the same summer program that I made my uh, blue and purple self-portrait. The assignment here was to brainstorm three sketchbook pages worth of ideas for stamps and uh, to create and to sort of get all your ideas out on the page before you start creating. And so I did that and I thought there were, you know, a whole bunch of designs I wanted to choose from and pick stamps for and I didn't know what to do. So I came back and looked at them the next day and fashion illustrations uh, were the only interesting ideas that that I found the next day that all my other ideas I didn't like enough to use them. This next piece was one uh, that is part of a much bigger project that I also did during the same summer program the and uh, the summer after my junior year the assignment was to create a brand and sort of three pieces of merchandise using consistent branding and I wanted to create a fictional TV show called The Antagonists and I designed characters and I could uh, design t-shirts and stickers and buttons all of which you see uh, on screen right now. The next picture is a photograph of the actual real stickers and the actual real pins I created from my artwork um, in real life. I was so excited that when I came home I uh, hired a company to print my actual design onto pins. This next piece is a poster advertising the TV show with all the characters on it and the piece after that is um, uh, the real reason that I wanted to like do a TV show for the branding project is I wanted um, time to be able to dedicate to making paper dolls of the characters that would be in the TV shows. I I already had the character designs in mind when going into this project, but one of the things I struggled with uh, with the character designs is I had a lot of different uh, fashion ideas for what I wanted the characters to wear, and I didn't have like a good way to see like all my different designs at once. So this is the first uh, paper doll that I did of this, and I made a second one. I actually made three, but I only decided to use two in my finished uh, portfolio. And then this is a video of me uh, utilizing the paper dolls in real life, which I'll give you a minute to watch. that same story but more putting the characters in places so this is a photoshop illustration of one of the main characters uh place of business 
and this is inside his uh, little art studio. And then I have um, two pieces that I made for the RISD assignment. The RISD assignment is part of the RISD portfolio every year. RISD is one of the biggest art schools in the country and they have an assignment where they uh, give people three words and you pick a word and you make two pieces based on the meaning of that word as you interpret it. So my uh, word was error. And so I did sort of two pieces on different sides of the, the sort of concept of a medical error. So the first one was sort of an error that has like a positive side to it, which is about my um, type 1 diabetes. And even though it's an error that one of my vital organs doesn't work, I still can live a perfectly full and successful life and I'm not myself a mistake or an error it's just that something went wrong uh but it's not but it doesn't define me this piece was designed to uh start a conversation about sort of medical devices and see and about seeing medical devices and visible medical devices and also this whole piece is made from trash that accumulated from just taking care of my diabetes also to get people more aware of that aspect of it. And then the next piece is an acrylic and um, gouache painting, mostly acrylic. And this painting is about um, how uh, things like dietary supplements and hair vitamins are sort of very open to the public and people take them uh, even if they don't need them because they're marketed to them so heavily on social media. And it's about how um, people like overuse these uh, supplements and they aren't really helping and that's sort of an, a medical error that they they've made some sort of error in thinking that all these pills are going to help them or make them uh, better.